As a guy, I've been a lean gainer my whole life. It's been easy to be lean. It's been easy to have abs, but it's been really hard to pack on muscle. I'm telling you, like, I train harder than anybody. I used to own a gym. I trained in that gym harder than anybody, and the muscle didn't come. And then that was fine. Like, I got used to it. I could just be lean and ripped, and, like, I could do backflips and stuff. That's fine. I wasn't ever going to be a big dude, and that was fine. But then my 30s came along, and I had kids, and then I got back pain, and then Building muscle to solve the back pain became my primary focus. And then I got some fatigue. And then I got some other things going on that was related to my hormones. And then I couldn't just be okay with being a lean guy. I had to make sure that my testosterone levels and my hormones were in check. I've been since using a bunch of strategies to fix this. Some things that require prescriptions, uh, some things that are natural. Most things that are natural, actually, not a whole lot of the prescription stuff. And I'm definitely not willing to go that extra route where you inject the stuff and you're pretty much addicted to it for life. I've been trying peptides, but I haven't gone the full GH testosterone injection route, right? Also Clomid or Clomide, I think it's called. I've been doing that. That seems to be a pretty good, like low risk solution. But then we also launched Wild Man, which is what I've been using every single day. This and our bull blend are designed for men's hormones. As it goes with most things at Wild Foods is I figured out what do I need in my life? What are the ingredients? What's the stack? What am I looking for to solve? And then I went and sourced that exact product and the ideal ingredients using the same obsessively sourced wild sourcing method where whole food source, really good stuff, pure, uh, third-party tested multiple times, and we came up with the wild stack. Now, of course, Tonga Ali has been popular since Huberman talks about it on Joe Rogan's podcast. So that was like a no-brainer to have that in there. But then also... I realized my minerals were low after doing a hair test. And then I did some research digging into minerals and men and hormones and it's like, holy shizzle. Holy shizzle, if you're a guy and you care about your hormones, magnesium, most important thing that you're gonna have, but also zinc, boron, some of these other trace and essential minerals that you might not be getting from your diet are essential for optimal hormone production. When I say essential, I mean like, you absolutely need them. And if you're low, your hormones are going to suffer as a result. So what most guys do is like, you know, again, I'm not talking if you want to be big here and you're going to be shooting up GH and testosterone, right? But if you just want to be healthy and you want to have good energy and you want to age well and you want to, you know, maybe look good naked, maybe put on a little bit of muscle as you age. If you're not covering the basics, which are minerals and then using some herbs like Tonga Ali, Horny Goat Weed. Uh, we also got, let's see, Maca's in here, Fenugreek, and Tribulus. That's been around for, for years. These are the natural, it's a natural solution slash foundation. Not solution, but foundation. It's a natural solution. I keep saying solution. It's a natural foundation to build on top of. Some guys, like if you have off the charts low hormone levels, like y you might want to look at some more aggressive things, right? But for the majority of guys, we just need some help. We live in a modern environment where everything's toxic, everything's attacking us. I mean, even it's attacking our masculinity, but also things physically are attacking us, mentally attacking us. Like there's a lot of things against men right now, which is a whole nother video series on its own. So we need some help. All of us need help though. All of us need to be supplementing because our food system just sucks and our soil is depleted and destroyed. That's why magnesium and chromium are the two most nutrient deficient, def uh, deficient in people. Yeah. The, more people are deficient or the majority of people are deficient in magnesium and chromium. Okay. Magnesium is a big one because it's responsible for so many damn things in your body that you pretty much, you need to supplement with it. Right. And it's risk-free. Uh, if there's any extra in your body, like there's no damage associated with that. You probably just like pee it out or whatever. Right. So supplementing with magnesium and being pretty aggressive on that, on that, it's just a no brainer for all people, but especially men, because when you look at the research, like just go on Google, look at, or GBT say, uh, magnesium research in men or magnesium and men's hormones. Just do that and just, just see it spit out research after research, study after study after study. It's insane, right? So I mentioned two things, the mag, which we just sold out the other day, um, which sucks, but you know, we'll get more in soon. So they are for sale, but then also the wild man stack. These two are pretty much standard in my daily routine. And again, this is just a natural checkbox that you're trying to mark off. This is not your entire solution. You should be eating an animal-based diet. You should be eating lots of sunlight. You should be trying like sauna, uh, ice, doing things to manage stress. You should be sleeping eight plus hours a night. You should be trying to not obsess over things and just like maybe disconnect from social media like this, etc. And then after you have all those basics, which include supplementation strategically, 
then you can maybe look into other things once you get your levels tested. After you've done those things, test every three months or so, see what's going on, work with a holistic practitioner, not just somebody who's going to just like try to give you GH or testosterone inject into your body and like that be it because you'll be on that for the rest of your life. Though some men do need that because their, their, their numbers are so low that the risk to reward is that it, it's a higher risk if they, if they don't solve the hormone issue. So some people do need it. Check them out.